Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this Ideal Pro MRX TV box. As you can see here, it came in this little package like this. So some of the specification of this TV box is that it has an S905 hardcore core processor. This is a 64-bit processor. And here they claim 30% more CPU power and 50% more GPU power. As you can see here, it supports uh, up to 4K resolution. Unfortunately, I do not have any 4K TV in the house, so uh, the best I can do is 1080p uh, for testing purpose. Again, beside the CPU, we have a 2GB DDR3 for memory, an onboard 8GB storage, we have Wi Fi A, B, G, and N, and also 5GHz Wi Fi. It can support up to 4K output and it runs Android 5.1.1 uh, to be exact. So, this is the box itself here, as you can see, pretty simple, not much up front. This is actually a translucent panel, and underneath there's actually an LED along with a little uh, IR receiver. Up top here, you have a power button that you do have to press to turn it on, but after that, you can use the remote. Uh, on the side here, we have a micro SD slot, we have here a on the go port, two USB port, one of which I'm using something, I'll show you guys that in a minute. In the back we have power, we have here the out audio out, we have Ethernet port, HDMI out, and also here is the optical SDIF out. On this side is nothing, and that's pretty much the whole unit, as you can see here, it's pretty small, a little bit bigger than the Apple TV 3 or something like that. You also get your uh, power supply here, it's a really short power supply, it's about 3 feet long, really annoying. For me, I have to use an extension cord because my TV is actually hang up, so this cable is way too short, so I actually have to do that. It also comes with a HDMI cable, which I didn't use, but it is Dell. And then you also get a small user menu which has some instruction on how to use the units and just a uh, simple information. So this remote control is pretty simple, uh, numpad key not used too much, menu, a mouse button that you can turn on to use the arrow here for mouse, navigation pad along with the OK button, return home, you have some navigation key here along with volume and then here are some quick keys, mute and then the power button. It takes two AAA battery which you have to provide yourself. Uh, so that's pretty much overall look at the unit and we're going to show you guys the application inside and I kind of show you everything on the screen. So as you can see here, this is pretty much the main screen and uh, here it's layout and just kind of like a window mobile kind of uh, setup. So use the launcher and the launcher is pretty simple here as you can see. So I'm using the uh, little query remote control right now to control it. As you can see here, you have Cody over here. Uh, you have recommendation which is just random stuff they put down and then you have a local setting and a few different things here so let's just go to setting real quick as you can see here uh, this is very different from the other android box again the first time i boot this it shows you as google tv so as you can see here a uh, little bit different interface and uh, it's actually really easy layout as you can see you can see all your stuff here easily set up as you can see here pretty easy to see all the apps various different thing uh, if we go back down here for example we can look at more setting we can see the actual uh, Google setting as you can see here. We go down to the bottom here. We can see this is a media box and running Android 5.1.1 as you can see. So that's pretty much it. Uh, let's go back and take a look at some of the application that you can launch here. For example, Kodi. So here this thing is running uh, coding 16 drivers. And here, of course, it comes with all the different plugin, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, my local setup. So uh, every time you launch Kodi, uh, definitely it take a few seconds for it to uh, catch up with all your downloads and uh, update. That usually take about 30 seconds of hiccup, so I usually just wait for Kodi to launch. So right now, I'm skipping around over my network here using the Wi-Fi, and as you can see, it's catching up. Let's go ahead and skip to something else here, as you can see. It's uh, pretty fast, and it's working pretty well, so as you can see how fast it is over the Wi-Fi. Speaking of Wi-Fi, this Android box here feature 5 GHz wireless. Uh, it's not AC, it's just N, but I'm actually connecting to the 5 GHz uh, band on my wired router, and it's actually working pretty fast, and I can quickly stream stuff, and yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty fast. Here, I'm gonna show you the Google Play Store. I already logged in, so we're good to go. Again, this Google Play Store look pretty organized, easy to set up, just like a typical Google Play Store. Uh, you can search and download basically any app here. Of course, uh, you know, a lot of Android apps are designed for touch applications, so it's a bit tricky on how to use them. So you kind of have to figure out how, with that. Uh, you can use the touchpad, of course, like I'm doing right now. I'm just scrolling up and down a touchpad. Uh, let's go ahead and try Netflix. A lot of people always ask me if you just run Netflix. Of course, uh, it just does run Netflix fine. I did notice that this didn't seem to run Netflix in 1080p. It seemed like it's more like 720p. I do want to show you guys just a short clip here. So here we go. We just start at the beginning. I'm going to skip in just a little bit. 39 seconds in. Can I give you an idea? Right now, it's buffering up to the uh, 720p basically. 
so yeah, this guy doesn't seem like to do 1080p. Uh, from the quality here, I can tell it looks like it's about 720p. I didn't see any option on Netflix for me to change it. But uh, from the picture quality, it looks like it's about 720p at best. So yeah, overall, as you can see there, the application run pretty fast, uh, even with Kodi, which is usually very intensive in memory and stuff. I'm using Wi-Fi now to demonstrate to you guys, but uh, normally I am in the living room and I connect this to the Ethernet LAN and that's even better. The connection is very fast though. Uh, of course, you have Twitch and other thing uh, that also works perfectly fine in this box. Here, I want to quickly show you my Plex. I'm gonna just gonna play here one of the uh, video I have on deck here. It's really fast for Plex, of course, because we are transcoding, and uh, my server downstairs does a pretty good job of uh, sending this information over the network even to Wi-Fi here. So yeah, two or three second delay, and then it's catching up uh, pretty fast. So overall, this Idea Pro MRX Android box works pretty well. I just run Android 5.1.1, so it's actually a lot more efficient, and with the 2GB of RAM, it's actually pretty speedy. The Wi-Fi works pretty well, but then again, I have pretty good Wi-Fi in the house here, so uh, I didn't expect anything less, uh, but in general, it works pretty good. This loaded dongle here is actually just remote control. This is what I make it easy to do my testing. Uh, it's basically a full query keyboard along with a touchpad that's easy to navigate and has everything in here. Put the little link in the description for this uh, product if you guys are interested in, in buying it uh, but yeah overall it's a pretty nice box so yeah that's pretty much my quick review i hope it helped you in your purchase decision if you have any question let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you mm -hmm.